not only does it have a great effects processor, it has output processing, speaker management for your left and right output. So whatever comes out of here, this will manage. So I have a feedback eliminator, I have an EQ, I have a delay, and I have output limiting, which is called dynamics. All editable and saveable. So I can go into here, edit it, now I can change my threshold, my, mold, uh, my, my mode, my attack, and my release, whether it's a hard knee or soft knee. I have a library where I can save these. So I can have 50 saves for each individual unit. So I can have 50 feedback eliminators, EQs, delays, and dynamics. If I go into what's called mode, I can change that into being dual. So now I can have my feedback here and everything else is separate from my left and right output. Or I can do what's called subwoofer mode, where now I can have a crossover. So I can have my, this, this is where the feedback limiter goes. Then I have my EQ, my crossover, then my delays, then my limiting. So there's three modes for your left and right output. The last, in, in my opinion, the, the, one of the best parts about this FX mixer, besides just the, the pure sound quality, is it will actually record MP3s into my stick with no computer directly. All I do is I plug this into the back, I hit record, and I'm done. And it records. It records on this. And people say, well, how long does it record? Depends on your memory stick. If you have a 2 gig memory stick, you know, 10, 11 hours. If you have an 8 gig, might be 30 hours. So it depends on your stick. But imagine if you need to record, let's say, a sermon. You can record it on this live, pull it out, go down to the office, and boom, now the sermon's on your website in, in seconds. The memory stick is now in the back of the mixer, and now I push memory stick, I hit the digital I.O. and hit memory stick. All right. Now it says, do you want to hit play back? Because I already have MP3s on there, or record. I select record. I hit start, and it starts recording. It's real, and I have 39 hours and 25 minutes to record on this. How amazing is that? Now, it defaults to FX2 Mixer MP3, the name. I can change that name before I hit record. Or I can just leave it like that. I really highly recommend you check out the FX2s, audiosavings.com. I'm Greg with PV. Thanks for listening. Take care.